after orthogonal arrays, the second most important concept in Taguchi's designs is the linear graph. It helps us to visually uh, represent the factors and interactions, which in turn helps to understand how do we allocate the factors to the different columns of the array. We know in, in experimentation certain tasks are quite difficult as well as equally critical like uh, for example to decide which factor at what level should be considered with other factor levels in the experimentation. To decide how many such experimental runs would be adequate. To decide uh, in what order these runs should be. Now these tasks are one of the most critical yet quite difficult in, in any of the experimental methods. In conventional method, we rely on the in-depth subject matter knowledge of the experts in deciding upon the factors, levels, runs and their order. In Aguchi's designs, this task is simplified using the linear graphs. A linear graph, so to say, visually represents a set of factors and their mutual interactions. These factors and interactions are then represented as columns in the array. The linear graphs are standard for each array like for L8 orthogonal array these are the two linear graphs. These nodes 1, 2, 4 and 7 they represent the main factors while these edges 3, 5 and 6 they represent the interaction between the main factors like this edge 3 shows the interaction between the factor 1 and 2. This is the interaction between factor 1 and 4. Now if we take a case, a specific design case where we have to study the main effects of four two level factors, let's say the factors are A, B, C and D and the interactions between A, B and B, C and A, C in an experiment. So in that case, we will use linear graph 1, this one. So the nodes of the linear graph will represent the factors like 1 can represent A, 2 can show B, 4 can be C, 7 can be D. And the interaction between A and B can be shown by 3 interaction between A and C can be shown by 5. But if in the same design uh, we have to study the main effects of the factors A, B, C, D but when it comes to the interactions now we have to study the interaction of the factors B, C and D with one factor that is A. So basically we have to study the interactions a, B, A, C and A, D. So in that case, we use the linear graph 2. So if this is the way we would represent our factors uh, in the linear graph, now coming to this table, we can see how the factors are going to be allotted to each of the column of the orthogonal array. So factor A goes to column 1, B to column 2, factor C goes to column 4, D goes to 7 and the interaction A and B would be confounded or shown using the column 3, interaction BC by column 6 and AC by column 5.